drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos hello everyone watching this video and welcome to edupedia world i am your tutor for today mansi garg and we will be studying geography and the topic for today will be composition and structure of the atmosphere so let us start with it the earth with its spherical shape is divided into three domains lithosphere atmosphere and hydrosphere these three domains together make up the biosphere like matter these three domains exist in three different states they occupy space and possess inertia the lithosphere exists in solid state and the atmosphere in gaseous state and the hydrosphere in liquid state each has a purpose in supporting life on earth in gaseous state the atmosphere is characterized by momentum and pressure it regulates the heat around us let us now discuss the blanket of air that covers the earth which is the atmosphere the blanket of air surrounding the earth is known as the atmosphere it exists in several layers around the earth these layers become thinner at higher altitudes therefore one find it difficult to breathe as one goes up this is because less air is pressing down from above half of the total mass of air is found below 5 km touching the surface of the earth it is held close to the earth by gravity the atmosphere protects the earth from harmful ultraviolet and infrared rays of the sun it has oxygen and nitrogen the life sustaining gases it helps in retaining the necessary warmth on the earth and helps in the circulation of water vapor which is the source of rainfall coming on to what constitutes this atmosphere let's now discuss its composition the atmosphere is a mixture of many gases and tiny solid particles a clean dry sample of air is made up of approximately 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen oxygen gas helps in burning and breathing without breathing oxygen most living things cannot survive nitrogen is a colorless inert gas and has no taste or smell it dilutes the oxygen and slows down the process of oxidation it is essential for all living things but they cannot use it directly from the atmosphere plants obtain it from the soil and animals obtain nitrogen by eating plants or other animals these gases are responsible for life on earth however they are insignificant with respect to the weather phenomena the remaining 1% of air is made up of a number of gases which include carbon dioxide water vapor helium hydrogen argon etc one of the main gases in this remaining 1% is the carbon dioxide gas which is needed by plants for their survival water vapor is responsible for all forms of precipitation and hence the circulation of fresh water water vapor is added to the atmosphere by evaporation from oceans and lakes and rivers transpiration from vegetation and respiration of animals some parts like pollen from plants dust from dust storms ash from meteorites and volcanic eruptions smoke from fire and salt particles from seas are also present in the lower layer of the atmosphere these particles act as a nuclei for water vapor to form raindrops around them they also scatter the sun's radiation during sunrise and sunset the amount of dust varies from place to place now we've learned about what constitutes the atmosphere let us see what are the functions of the atmosphere in physics we must have studied that air also has weight and exerts pressure being pressed down it always remains in contact with land and water 
and due to their physical contact exchange of gases between air land and water takes place on a continuous basis on land soil absorbs oxygen and nitrogen due to this contact water vapors in air rise from oceans on account of evaporation carbon dioxide in air helps in absorption of heat and keeps the earth warm at night but excess carbon dioxide accumulation in the atmosphere which is happening nowadays can be harmful you all must be knowing the concept of global warming which will be discussed afterwards so let us return back to the functions of atmosphere because of the atmosphere's composition it is the most dynamic entity large masses of air are being moved up and down and across the surface of the earth the energy of the sun is responsible for keeping the atmosphere in such a dynamic state after this let us move on to the basic structure of the atmosphere in the atmosphere there are concentric layers of air one over the other each layer has a different density the upper layers press down the lower ones as i have also told you earlier so the air of the lower layer is always heavier or denser while the upper layers are thinner or less dense in this way about 90% of the mass of air lies within a height of about 20 km from the surface of the earth on the basis of the characteristics of the temperature and air pressure there exist four thermal layers of the atmosphere they are troposphere stratosphere mesosphere and thermosphere You must be wondering about the exosphere on your screens. Well, the thermosphere is divided into ionosphere and exosphere. So, in this video, it was all about the introduction on atmosphere. We will discuss about the structure of atmosphere, global warming, ozone layer further in detail in the next videos. So, that was all from my side for today. Thank you and have a nice day.